Miller? Town of Miller, Miller yeah. City Park. Yeah, we're in the town of Miller, but it's called Crystal Park. Oh, so you just told them. Oh. <laughs> so Miller, South Dakota, Crystal Park. I'm not gonna walk all over it just yet, but it's a free, free camping with electric donation base. Ask for donations. Um, it looks like residential up there. But plenty. I'm not having count them yet, but there's at least uh, one, two, three, or four, five, six, seven, eight. There's probably five, a good 20 camping spots. Could be more. I'm just guessing at the moment. But your view from the back, I guess you would call it, would be. Farmer's land or soybean fields and everything over there has frisbee golf. It does have a dump station, which if we go riding or something, we'll look at that. But it's way over there. If you can see that gray building right there, wow. that gray building right there, that's a shower and bathroom. Also free. Has a nice little park with a pond. Uh, has volleyball courts. I don't know, it's actually for free. It's pretty nice so far. For hours. Yeah, for three days, 72 hours. But it's, at the moment, it seems to be really quiet. Of course, this is Sunday, so the party might have been happening this weekend. I don't know. It don't look like it, though. It looks like it's well-maintained. There's very nice houses all the way around it. Can't really see, but there's a nice house there. And that over there kind of looks like a subdivision subdivision across the road so they probably don't allow a bunch of riffraff riffraffa there's Rusty's butt just in case you want to see that alrighty then I'm gonna pause it for now because it's supposed to rain and it does kind of look like rain over there so I don't know if we'll do a bunch of exploring today but we'll probably get out tomorrow and check out the little town and we'll show you whatever we see so they just opened this bathhouse up. We saw a review that said in June they opened it, 2020. So it's a storm shelter, which is great, but it's also the restrooms um, and shower house. So we looked in here already. There's two, two restroom stalls and one shower, I think, um, in each one. So let me make sure there's the money in here. The, the guys is pretty much the same as this one. But it's really nice. So this is a shower, and then there's a handicap accessible restroom, and then a regular stall. Regular stall. It's not even a year old. It's um, yeah. sink, mirror. This is all a part of the free campground for 72 hours. You know, I just noticed, I don't see, oh, there they are. Plug-ins if you got hair dryer and everything. Oh, yeah. What's that dispenser over there? Um, for tampons and pads. Oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> The guys are pretty much exact copy, except for the products. It is bolted down. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, it. <laughs> yeah. I want to show you this. It says this building is safe for 200 mile an hour prior winds and missile impact resistant. Why would you need a missile impact resistance? They know something. <laughs> no, actually, this is the second one in South Dakota that we've been in that's had this uh, missile range. I don't know, missile impact yeah. resistance. I'm this park also has a huge play area for the children. It's your typical, you know, play equipment for kids. And of course, the wind starts blowing. So if it's loud, I apologize. It has some kind of little, I'm assuming it's like an amphitheater, so to speak. Has like these huge benches and maybe a little band or something plays there. Has some adult swings over there. Has a dump station right there. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. You got right there. That's the dump station, which is also free. But we're over there in the camping area. To kind of show you that earlier, it's starting to fill up. A lot of campers coming in. Yeah, but we're over there. So, all that is the camping area all over there. It's probably, like I said, probably, I didn't really count them. I kind of roughly counted it. I'd say a good 20 spots, camping area spots. Plenty of room. Well, I say that, when we got here, there was only one camper here, and it's already starting to fill up. And this is a Sunday, so, I don't know. Seems to be a popular stopping spot. But here's the, 
the nice houses, you know, right beside it, I was telling you about, like a subdivision. Well kept, very nice houses. So I'm assuming this area doesn't get rowdy or anything like that. Maybe your neighborhood kids playing, but I'm talking about, you know, drinking and a bunch of riffraff, you know, people making trouble. What is this? Home is where the horse is. This mural, mural is a, is a youth-led initiative designed and painted with people living at Miller, South Dakota. That's around the area. Cool. That's very cool. Yeah. Oh, look, it's got um, the dignity statue. Yeah, dignity. That's one thing I recognize. We rode through town, but I couldn't show you because the, the wind was a little too fierce. It's your typical little farm community town. It's got your basic needs. Uh, you know, no Walmarts, no superstores, just your basic little stores. But a brand new Dollar General. <laughs> oh yeah, it does have a new Dollar General. <laughs> So we left the big town of Miller, continuing on for our travels. We are in Aber Aber Aberdeen. Aberdeen. I'm not sure if I'm going to say Aberdeen, right. Aberdeen, South Dakota. Just stopping for a moment to eat. Look at some little kitty parks. He wants to play on a little kitty <laughs> swing over there. And walk the dog. Let's go inside. We're going inside. Hey, All right. We're going to take care of a few things, and I guess we're going to go check out this park, the little kitty swing park. We are fixing to go explore Storybook Land. I think it's a children's park based off nursery rhymes and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we can get in or not because it looks like a ghost town at the moment. But you can see a pumpkin or something there, a castle. I don't know, we're not close enough yet, but we go over there and we'll look at it. But this is a super nice park so far. I mean, I don't know what this area is just yet. But so far, so good. It's like a, oh, Rusty. <laughs> Rusty's fertilizing our park. But anyhow, we're parked way over there. <clears throat> it has a campground, so I'm assuming that you can come in on any entrance because the campground's right over there and right here you can't see but right here is the road we're on the other side of the grassy area with our 26 foot long trailer and we've had plenty of parking watch your step you yeah. still dripping <laughs> hey, rusty. rusty's having a rough day already <laughs> anyhow yeah you, there's plenty of room what town is this aberdeen Aberdeen? Yes, we're in Aberdeen, South Dakota. Aberdeen, yeah. So, if you're in an RV of any size, I feel like you can make it in here. Plenty of room to get in. All these flags, I just now start to see markers. These are all state flags. So I'm curious where Kentucky is. I'm looking. I'll recognize the flag. Um, nope, I think I see it way on the other side. Our flag is a Commonwealth flag. It has the reef on it and all that. I see one over there that has that, so that might be Kentucky. I don't know. Anywho, I'm gonna pause it until we get over to this park and see if we can get in there. We're fixing the inner storybook land. Go to walk across rail tracks, train, carousel, and balloon ride tickets. Go and sell at the gift shop. I won't ride the train. Mm. I do, I do. Fixing to walk across the little train tracks. It's like a little kitty train, it's not a you know, like a big old freight train rumbling through your town there. So, this is obviously based towards kids, but I reckon anybody could be here. No pets, no bicycles, no skates, rollerblades, blades, skateboards, more equipment. You can only have wheelchairs and that's it. No tobacco, no, no smoking, no spitting. Storybook land, land of Oz. Please observe the following. Hmm, that's pretty neat. Okay, we'll go ahead and check it out. So we just realized no dogs. It's kind of sad. Um, so the boys are gonna 
let me enjoy. And I'm gonna do a quick little run through. Up the park. Oops, there we go. This is pretty cool. Um, this is just coming in on the main entrance so far. Just a quick little scan. Jack and the Beanstalk. I think that's Rapunzel. Alright, here we go. So here's a map of the entire storybook land. And it's really big. I mean, I think everybody could enjoy this place. We just happen to be here on a Tuesday, random time in the morning. And it's really quiet. I'm, I'm really, I'm surprised it's so quiet. Everything just reopened though, just due to all the closings nationwide. But it's pretty cool here. I think we can see Jack and the Beanstalk a little better right here too. There's Dorothy. See if we can find the other characters. So there's the Tin Man. And the Man of Straw. I think the last one is the Cowardly Lion. This place goes on forever. So, let's see if we can find some wildlife. I think this is maybe where the chickens are normally at. Oh no, it's a cow. Hi. Hi there. Oh, hi. Did you see a little cow? Oh, something. Figured I'd try to catch him on camera in case I spook him when I walk by on the path. Those antlers are huge. <laughs> American Plains Bison, also known as Buffalo. Found them. Very aware. This guy in that side jaw. It just makes me laugh.
All right, this looks like the last part of the park. They've got a putt-putt with a huge volcano themed putt-putt. And then they've got this massive grounds. Um, actually, over there, I didn't, we didn't show it, but when we came in, right there is a big lake. And then this is the playground area. So for any kids, this would be fantastic. I'm back with my boys. And then they have big restrooms. There's also a campground here. We didn't look to see what the prices were, but um, it's got to be a great place for kids. Um, if you have any kids at all to come and hang out for at least a day or two. I rushed through that thing in probably 20, 30 minutes, but that's the, uh, the flag entrance and the actual main entrance is just, um, they've got lots of walking trails. So there's a walking trail that goes through and around um, to the main entrance on the left. Free to get in. They do ask for donations. Um, but if you want to ride any of the rides as kids, um, those cost. Again, it was really quiet. I think people are still probably back at school, actually. That's probably why it's so quiet. Because um, we're in September. So anyways, um, Aberdeen, South Dakota. It's a really pretty uh, town so far. But also a really great place to spend a few hours if you're by yourself or with your family. then. I could see you easily spending at least a day here. So, all right, we're gonna move forward.